Understanding big game survival is key to managing Idaho's deer and elk populations. The department has roughly 800 deer and 600 elk across the state with tracking collars that are used to understand migration, habitat use, probable cause of mortality, and survival rates. In the Magic Valley, about 150 deer are collared. When captured, fawns are weighed, measured, checked for overall body condition, fitted with a collar, and ear tagged. Does receive much of the same treatment, along with receiving an ultrasound to assess body condition and blood is drawn to test for pregnancy rates, mineral content, and disease. So one of the things we do to monitor mule deer is, is radio collar um, fawns and, and adults to look at survival and causes of mortality. Typically how we manage mule deer, at least historically, was always doing aerial surveys on hel with helicopters on winter range, but that is really cost prohibitive. Five one eight seven. The key in understanding probable cause mortality is locating the remains of the animal as soon after death as possible. Blood on this collar and that's often indicative of information. The evidence that remains is used in determining how the animal died and what killed it. What I'm looking for is a canine puncture wound. See, there's a canine puncture right there and right there, but there's no hemorrhaging around it. So that happened after the deer was dead. So the coyotes have obviously been here, but I don't see anything that leads me to believe that coyotes killed it. indicative of a, of a healthy deer and now now this deer might have ultimately died from coyote predation I, I can't say that for sh for certain but uh, this malnutrition is uh, you know probably the, the proximate factor leading to that management tools like these are key in keeping Idaho's wildlife populations productive and strong for the future